of the uh, news websites or blogs that are accessible by Syrians uh, are operated actually by regime agents or, or people close to the regime. Uh, most independent websites uh, run by dissidents or independent journalists are blocked and they need, uh, and, and people who want to access them have to use proxy breakers. The current Iranian government um, is not really an enemy of the internet and it's not um, trying to restrict the flow of information into the internet. What they're doing is they're restricting certain people and promoting them their, their own ideas. The whole idea of blogging and the whole idea of establishing independent websites uh, uh, um, was uh, the brainchild of all these journalists who couldn't find a way to express themselves freely through the official press. So the governments in the, in the region began to see that they have a problem. So they began to arrest them. And as we see the statistics show that uh, uh, since 2003, it's since 2004, when we first began to hear of this cyber dissidence, we have many more of them who are in jail. Very recently, um, a few women activists who work for the campaign for one million signatures, you may have heard about it, they were in court. Uh, and this is, this is ongoing. Karim Amir who is an Egyptian blogger that was arrested two years ago. Uh, last May, there was a, a demonstration, simultaneous demonstration in 12 different cities around the world to ask for his release. He is a student, so he was studied in uh, Egyptian uh, in, in University in Cairo, in the Islamic un University in Cairo. He wrote a few things uh, criticizing the Muslim establishment and Mubarak, and he was thrown into jail. A lot of uh, the people who were arrested, the young people, uh, a couple of years ago were 20-somethings, basically. They were arrested for just operating an independent blog, and they were sentenced to three to nine years in prison. I mean, very stiff sentences uh, just for operating an independent blog that was very mildly critical of the government. Uh, just last week, uh, Egypt released Ayman Noor, a leader of the uh, Egyptian opposition. Uh, there was no reason why uh, there was no reason why he was released, as there was no reason why he was arrested. Uh, but there was certainly a lot of public pressure that uh, seems to have uh, helped this.